In this video, we're going to compile and load our first PIC32 program. The first thing you should do is navigate to your PIC32 directory, take a look at its contents. We see the two directories, Embedded Computing Code, which has all the code for the book, as well as Skeleton. And then there's three C files. The nu32utility.c file is the one that's going to run on our computer and send executable programs over to the PIC32. So the first thing we have to do is compile that. And now if we take a look at our directory contents, we can see that we've created an executable called nu32utility. The next thing we want to do is compile simple pic.c to create an executable. It's a two-step process. This is the first step. It's a rather long command. xc32gcc is the cross-compiler for the pic32. The minus m processor equals 32mx795f512h command says that this is the processor that we're compiling for. Uh, we're going to create an output file called simplepick.elf. And then we have some linker commands. In particular, we're going to tell the linker to use the linker script nu32bootloaded.ld that lives in the skeleton directory. And finally, we tell the compiler that simplepick.c is the file that we'll be compiling. So press enter. And if we take again a look at the directory contents, we can see that we've created simplepick.elf. Now there's one more step to turn that into an executable, and that's this one, xc32 bin 2 hex simplepick.elf. And then if we take a look at the directory contents, we can see we've created a simplepick.hex file. That's the file that we need to load onto the PIC32. Now to load onto the PIC32, we need to communicate by a serial port um, from our USB port on our computer to the serial port on the PIC32. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what ports are available right now. And this is with the PIC32 off, the NU32 board is off and not connected uh, to our laptop. And now I'm going to plug it into the USB port and power up the board. And now we should be able to discover a new port that is um, for the serial port to the PIC32. And we can see it down here in the bottom, this one ending in DJ00DV5V. So that is the port over which we're going to send our program to the bootloader on the PIC32. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the PIC32 into bootloader receive mode, so it's ready to receive that program. We do that by pressing the reset button, the user button, and then letting go of the reset button, letting go of the, the reset button while we're still holding down the user button. Now that single flashing LED there means that it's ready to receive a program. To send it over, I'll use the NU32 utility and I'll send to that port that we just discovered. Let me copy that. And I want to send the simple pick dot hex executable that we created. Now it's communicating with the board, it's sending over, it's reprogrammed the board, and now it's running the new program, simple pick, that you can see flashes these two LEDs back and forth. Unless I press the user button here, which stops the flashing, and I let go, the flashing resumes. You'll learn more about why this program does what it does later, but for now you should just make sure that you can program the PIC32 to run it. 